What happens to the time period of a simple pendulum if the gravitational field strength is doubled? What happens to the time period of a simple pendulum if the gravitational field strength is doubled? Uh. I haven't got any numbers. Hello and welcome to Underdog Physics. Today we'll be looking at equations without numbers. Kind of. What happens to the time period? Before we tackle that question, consider Newton's second law. This is the equation that we usually attribute to Newton's second law. F equals ma, or force equals mass times acceleration. Consider this question. What happens to the acceleration of an object if we double the force applied to it? Without too much thinking, the answer is pretty clear. It doubles. But my aim in this video is to be able to tackle slightly more complicated equations. We'll use Newton's second law as a basis to start with. First of all, let's rearrange f equals ma to make acceleration the subject. And for reasons that will become clear later, I'm going to put a little subscript 1 for each variable. Here's the question again. In the context of the question, we've got an acceleration of an object, and then something happens, something changes, so that our acceleration is now different. What we do is write down the equation for acceleration again, but put a subscript 2 next to each variable. So A2, the acceleration after something's changed in our situation, is equal to the new force divided by the new mass. Before we forget, the question implies that the mass itself remains unchanged. So m2 is equal to m1. But f2 is 2 times f1, because our question states that our force has doubled. With these two important bits of information written down, we can substitute them into our expression for a2, the new acceleration. Excellent. If we tidy it up a bit, we can spot very quickly that the expression for a1 is in our new expression. So a2 is equal to 2 times a1. No surprises there. But wait, there's more! We've mentioned already that mass doesn't change in the context of this question. So a1 is proportional to f1, or acceleration is proportional to force. That's the only variable that's changing. Consider it to be independent variable and dependent variable. I'll also throw in this thing. a1 divided by a2 is equal to f1 divided by f2. Don't panic, I'll tell you where this has come from. a1 divided by a2 is equal to the expression for a1 divided by the expression for a2. Using our rules for algebra, this is just the same as f1 over m1 multiplied by m2 over f2, at which point we remind ourselves that the mass is unchanged, so m2 is equal to m1. They cancel each other out, giving us f1 over f2. This new expression that we've put together is really useful. We can substitute in our expression for F2, because F2 is 2 times F1, the force has been doubled, the F1s take care of each other, and we can rearrange the equation for A2. Brilliant. Now where was I? Ah yeah. What happens to the time period of a simple pendulum if the gravitational field strength is doubled? Here's the equation for the time period of a simple pendulum, and already it looks a bit scary. Don't worry though, our question says that our field strength is the only thing that changes. L1 in the equation is just the length, which doesn't change. T1 is proportional to 1 over root G1. Because any variable that doesn't change is just another constant, and the constants stay constant. Now all that's left to do is to apply the same procedure as we did for the Newton's second law example. T2 divided by t1 is equal to root G1 over root G2. Let's move T1 over to the other side. There we go, and start substituting in our known quantities. Our question says that the field strength has doubled, so g2 is equal to 2 times g1, that's what we put into our equation, and after tidying up the denominator a little bit, our root g1s sort themselves out, giving us t2 equals 1 over root 2 times t1. In other words, t2 is about 0.7 times t1. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this useful. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Today we'll be looking at using equipment.